My name is Shawana Cashel clark -Sai. I am the Executive Director for the Cashel School of Promise. The Cashel School of Promise is just that. It's my promise to God to give back through education. Um, back in 2007, I re received a very vivid, very clear vision that the Lord wanted me to start a school in Liberia. I thought that that vision was for the wrong person, or for, yeah, for the wrong person. It couldn't have possibly been for me because I only had like five years of experience in the Philadelphia School District teaching first through 12th grade, um, working in administration, but I thought someone who opened up a school should have at least 25 years of experience. Um, but obviously it's not so. I've been able to meet some amazing, amazing people that have um, had years of experience in education who helped me along the way. Um, even the sponsors and the donors, I mean, they have so much to give and say that, that help the whole process of educating these youth. Um, school has been exciting. I am Ms. Lydia Espin, Educational Director of CSOP. At CSOP, we develop singles, doers, learners, and leaders. How many rooms your house contain? Yes, nice, thank you. You are building a good house, Paolo. This year, I have never seen so many children that just want to learn in my life. They, the energy, the, the joy that they receive coming to school every day just blows my mind. Or the works uh, that take place in, in opening up a school. But you just think sometimes the things are just hard for you to catch? Hmm? Like spelling your name is hard? You think spelling your name is hard? Yeah. Okay, let's try to learn to spell your name together, okay? So your name is Philip. So Philip is P H I L L I P, right? Hmm? Yeah. Do you know? Can you try to say it with me? Mm hmm? Yeah. Say P H I L L I P. Philip. Um, we've been able to offer them, besides their regular core curricular courses, uh, Sewing class. Honey. Okay. Jesse. And Jesse, what are you doing today? I am sewing. What type of stitching are you doing? Running stitching. You doing a running stitch? Yeah. Do you like sewing? Yeah. This is carpentry, arts and crafts, music, dance, drama. <laughs> Things that they would probably never have experienced um, if we weren't here. Working with them every day, um, watching them just have this energy that I just never imagined children would have for school and for learning and for, for just experiencing, um, it's just been amazing. I, I see them every day ask me, you know, you know what, what's the next challenge? Right now we have this 10 book challenge and they are supposed to read these books and half of them can't read but they're going to their teachers, can you help me learn to read so that I can win this 10 book challenge? That's amazing to me. That's worth the experience for me. And I can't thank the sponsors and the donors enough. Perfect strangers that say, you know, I want to help. I've always wanted to help. And this is my way of helping. I had, you know, one lady donate um, just school supplies for about six months of the school year because she's always wanted to give. And I just, Nicole, it was amazing for doing something like that. Um, I worked with the bank here, uh, LBDI in Liberia, and they said that they wanted to give, and I expected them to give like, you know, maybe $100, $150 just to say, you know, this is my donation. They have given a scholarship to a child from now until she goes to college, and she can choose any college of her choice. They gave her monthly stipends, as well as 
they donated a thousand dollars to the orphanage. I mean, the people are just amazing, you know. And so when God said to me, Shawana, just don't worry, I have it planned out for you. Just follow the mission. Um, right now, I just I submit, and I'm just following His mission. And I don't worry about when um, the next bag of rice is going to come to help our lunch program. I don't worry about you know where the money's coming from for the teachers because. He just provides, and I'm, for that I'm grateful. I just focus on these children. I focus on their education. I enjoy them. I play with them. Um, the teachers love them, um, and I'm just grateful. At CSOP, our school is built on the foundation of service, leadership, excellence, and God's love. I am a child of God. Believe all things are possible. I am a girl who is not afraid to use my imagination. I am a leader and not a follower. I am a believer and plan to be whoever I dream to be. I am a girl who will do whatever it takes to succeed. <laughs> of Africa. And we thank you, Lord God, that you have brought us to this great nation of Liberia. And we feel so honored that you would give us opportunity to sow seeds into this country. Sow seeds where they count the most.